Uh, Randy, what's this I hear about you having hiccups and Yeah, after I went through my cancer ordeal with chemotherapy, yeah. I, I did, got a lot of hiccups, and I still do, and they're real strong ones. I don't know if the chemo did that or mm -hmm. what. We need to ask Dr. Mary about right. this. Right. Dr. Mary Gillis, of course, is with us, Wish TV medical reporter. So we're talking what's happening to our bodies when we hiccup. I do remember, like, if I drink a soda slash pop too fast, I'm hiccuping. And I have always wondered, wait, what, why? What's going on, and, Mary? Well, <laughs> first, Randy, I'm sorry. I can't answer your question in terms of chemo. I don't, I don't know. Maybe you were drinking a lot of seltzer at that time? Mm -hmm. Okay. Weird. Well, anyway, so yes, it can be triggered by a bunch of things. We yeah. could eat a meal too fast. We could, right, drink some soda pop. Uh -huh. um, sort of sometimes alcohol triggers it. Um, we don't have to worry if it's less than 48 hours if we have a bout of hiccups, which is, gosh, a long time. Right. Okay, so what's happening? You think that it would be upper it, here, up here, because you feel that or in your chest because yes. you feel that they can be painful sometimes, yeah, they right? They can be painful. Mm -hmm. And you would think it, it comes from the mouth. However, it comes much lower. Okay. So what happens when we breathe is we're going to breathe together, okay? We're going to okay. breathe in through our nose, out, for, out through our mouth, okay? And we're going to push the diaphragm down. So what happens is our rib cage expands, okay? Our lungs expand, our rib cage goes up, and uh -huh. our diaphragm goes down. And then we go, and then it all collapses. When you hiccup, uh, as a result of one of those things that we mentioned, the mm -hmm. carbonated drink, the eating too fast. Okay, so you have a um, graphic here. Yes, here we go. What okay. happens? So look at our diaphragm down there. That's where it comes from. When you hiccup, as a result of those um, examples that we just gave, right. that goes into a spasm. When that spasm, you're, when you try to exhale, that then leads your vocal cords to close. The hut, hence the, the hick sound. Oh, interesting. So your diaphragm is essentially in, in a spasm, not allowing the air to exhale as naturally as it should. So of course that begs the question, because you hear so many things about what you can do for hiccups. Like, what is the best way, <laughs> if I can ask you this, to get rid of them? I mean, people say, stand upside down or hold oh. your breath or whatever you hear, and it's kind of silly. Well, first, I, Amber, what, what is your go-to? I, I do. I do. Is it ridiculous? I kind of... <laughs> Hold your breath. <laughs> Just for a little bit. And I don't know why, but it kind of seems to work. It kind of does. So yes. here's this what I do. I remember a girl in seventh grade. Her name is Christina. And she told me this is the way to get, up, get rid of hiccups. Yes. Whether it's, Christina is the evidence-based or not, I do not know. <laughs> but thank you. Okay. It's worked ever since. I've been 12 years old. Okay. You go like this. You go. You breathe in. Okay. But you go. <gasps> oh. And just keep, keep going. <sighs> yes. As long as you can. Yeah, that's always worked for me. That's and funny. I will say this, you know the scare tactic? Yes, There's that's <laughs> what I was just going to say. Some people try to scare you or get you to think about something else really quickly. I know, and you're like, thanks a lot. Well, like, <laughs> but thank you. Right. <laughs> but there's no evidence-based uh, research. I don't think we have the real scientific evidence about uh, hiccups, but I'll have, right. to, I'll have to look into that. I'll, I'll have to see. I just can't imagine because the hiccups are one of those things. I mean, they can be annoying, especially mm -hmm. if they come at the wrong time, right? Oh, big time. Yeah. Imagine. Imagine this happened just right now. No. No, no, well, that's just it. I, and I joke, and it's not hiccups, but I've been here for six years, and not one time yet have I sneezed on air. It's always during a commercial break. <laughs> Isn't that Ever. Funny? I don't know if that we has need, anything to do with your senses. Need, like, no, I, I don't know. We need to punctuate that those moments, though. Right. Yes. And I've, I've never had a bout of hiccups okay. on the air either. It's Happy always another time. So <laughs> isn't that crazy? It's just little things like that that you just you just never know. But it really is funny to hear what people what people think versus perhaps whether that's a wise tale or right, you know, right. something And else, I will so. say this, Amber, I want to I want to uh, address this lovely gift that you gave me. Inhale, yes, exhale. I love okay, that. So I thought it was sort of timely today considering yes. today's segment. So Inhale, exhale. <laughs> Dr. Mary Gills, thank you so much for being here, Rand. All thank about you, hiccups. Let me see how you do your, your breathing. Can you show us how you would stop hiccups, perhaps <laughs> like Mary did? Okay. <laughs> Hey, by, just, by, let him, just let him go. By the way, I sneezed on the air you for did? only the second time in my career about a week ago. How I funny. couldn't stop it. Yes. They say if you look at the lights, you know, that should take it away. Have you ever right. heard that one before? I have not. Yeah, if you look at the lights, the sneeze should go away. So.